And the men behind one of the world's top websites for illegal file sharing are sentenced to one year in prison. The runners of the Pirate Bay are found guilty of promoting copyright infringement. And that's where we'll begin. A court in Sweden has sentenced four men to jail for a year for breaking copyright law. Their website, The Pirate Bay, allows Internet users to access copyrighted material like movies and TV shows for free. The court also ordered the men to pay close to three and a half million dollars in damages. We're joined now by Tony Todd from our Internet desk. Tony, this ruling is huge news in the Internet world, but what about regular Internet users like you and me? How does it affect us? Uh, well, for the moment, it's not going to change an awful lot in the short term. Uh, there are still an awful lot of file sharing websites on the Internet that users can still access, but it's a huge symbolic victory for the music industry. Uh, they claim that they're losing millions of euros a year uh, in lost revenue. For the uh, founders of the Pirate Bay, obviously they're going to prison, so they're going to be losing their liberty, probably a lot of money as well. But they insist that they're anti-copyright militants. Uh, they don't ask a cent from the people who use their site, and they've even announced that they're going to be launching a new site called Predator, which they say is going to be even more opaque and uh, difficult for the music industry to target. Mm -mm. Now, this is a real test case uh, for people who run these kind of uh, free file sharing websites. Um, but what about people who just use the Internet at home and who might be downloading from time to time a movie or a TV show? What kind of legislation might be taken out against them? Well, French President Nicolas Sarkozy is trying to push through a law at the moment that uh, would crack down on Internet piracy. Uh, it hasn't been passed yet, but it seeks to disconnect users if they download illegally on a three-strikes-and-you're-out basis. It's heavily supported by the music industry, and uh, other governments are going to be um, watching closely to see how and if uh, it actually works in practice. All right. Thank you so much, Tony Todd, from our Internet desk.